We just saw him in a basketball highlight, but we've also seen him sling the football on the field for the Wildcats. Let's catch up with Mark Gronowski for this player profile, presented by Edgewood Clinical Services. Our latest player profile features a football player who, at times, slides under the radar when it comes to the best players in the state. Before the start of the 2018 football season, Mark Kronowski won the quarterback job for Nico Valley as a relative unknown. While the Wildcats offense was prolific at times, it was the skill position players like Will Chevalier, Isaiah Robertson, Brett Borski, and Donnie Navarro that drew the accolades in recent seasons. But by the end of the 2018 campaign, Gronowski proved that he possessed the skills as an athlete and as a leader to bring the Nequa football program back to an elite level. The junior signal caller threw for more than 1,200 yards while showing just enough elusiveness, running for nearly 300 more on the ground. Nequa made it back to the IHSA playoffs after sitting home in 2017 as Gronowski was named first team All-DVC. Entering 2019, some questions still remain. Would the loss of running back Will Chevalier put too much pressure on Gronowski? And would Nikwa be able to dethrone Naperville Central from atop the DuPage Valley Conference standings, with Minnesota commit Sam Jackson leading its high-powered offense? It turned out that number seven had the answers to those questions and more. After committing to FCS Power South Dakota State over the summer, Gronowski took his game to another level. Completing passes at a 68% clip, he led NV to a 9-2 record and the DVC championship. In the only regular season loss of the year, Gronowski went toe-to-toe -to -toe with what may have been the best team in the state, East St. Louis. In the Week 3 contest, he threw for five touchdowns and showed his much-improved running ability as well, powering his way for 114 yards on the ground and two more touchdowns in the 50-48 thriller. When all was said and done, Gronowski finished the year with 1,663 passing yards, 721 rushing yards, 27 total touchdowns, with 12 of them coming via the run. The Wildcats made it to the second round of the playoffs for the first time since 2015. Following the season, the accolades came pouring in. Gronowski was named Conference Co-Offensive Player of the Year with Naperville North's Matt Mashmeyer, and became the first Nequa quarterback to be selected first team All-State by the Illinois High School Coaches Association. With the winter sports season underway, Gronowski now finds himself in another contact sport, as a starter in the post for the Nequa Valley basketball team. For football, I mean, we had a lot of juniors starting the year before, and then we really all, seniors just all stepped up and had a lot of experience, and that's kind of the same thing we have here, and we have a lot of experience coming back from last year, and I feel like we're gonna have a really great season this year. Breaking the mold a bit of the quarterback on the court, Gronowski prefers to do the dirty work for the Wildcats, battling for rebounds down low and fighting for position in the paint. I don't know my role on this team, and I just like to be a grinder on the court and stuff like that, and I just like pushing people around, and like people are already saying, like, oh, it's not football anymore, but I like to play physical like it is football, so. The Wildcat football and basketball programs are certainly grateful that this talented senior has been willing to do whatever it takes to put his team in position to come out on top. For Naperville Sports Weekly, I'm Justin Cornwell.